Hello YouTube, this is everything you would ever have to know about a redstone comparator. And I basically made it um, a tutorial on how to use one. So, let's start out with how fast does it move at? Because some people have told you that, well, it's um, it's InstaWire. No, it's not InstaWire, because if it was, then I wouldn't be able to show you this. And, well, here, let's just start it up. Uh, it says time tonight, because I have it set to there. Try this again. Okay. So what this is over here, this is redstone. Now I want you to pay attention to what you just saw. Uh, this is redstone, this is the comparator. This is also a comparator. comparator. And this is just regular uh, redstone repeaters set to one tick. So let's go with this again. Pay attention to this. I'm going to turn it off. Whoops. Now if you look over here, look at that. Alright, so hopefully you all saw that this went up later than this did. That's because, well, this moves at half a tick. It moves at half a tick per, uh, you know. That's why this moved actually faster than, that's why this moved faster than that did. But it moves at half a tick. That's... I think that's tickless. So no tick, half a tick, one tick, then we put at two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, so on. Um, so that's how that works. So comparator, half a tick. Here's another comparison. Not the greatest one, but you know. Well, I'm lagging. Proves that my computer's really crappy. You don't need a good computer to make videos. This is the redstone repeater, the comparator. And that's moving with, it lights up four blocks at a time. That lights up two at a time. So that's half a tick then. Because um, two over four is half, one half. So that's that test. You now know the speed. Now you might want to know its uses. So here are the uses for it. All right. It has two things, a capacitor and a diminisher. The capacitor is when it's off. So it's input A, this is input A over here, against input B, which are these two inputs. Uh, I guess this piston is screwed up. Taking a snapshot of that, and I'm sending that to Mojang. That's super screwed up. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, let's start out with, let's start, oh god, eh, it doesn't matter. So, it's the input signal than the output signal. If the output signal is greater than oh, whoops. If the output signal bleh. if this signal is greater than this, then there will be no output. However, if the signal is less than that, then it'll take this input, whatever it's inputted, it'll start it out with that and just keep on going on. It's kinda complicated. So let's do it way back here. Turn these switches off. There we go. Uh, put this in here. On the wire then. I'm trying to find the grid. Oh, wait, actually that works. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a sec. Nope. But, um, yeah, so what, like, let's say this inputs a power of, this looks like, what is this? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's like eleven, maybe eleven. It starts out with eleven and goes on. It's one of the new things of redstone. Now it's not just on and off. It has to be one to fifteen. You can make some pretty cool things with it now. Then the next thing is the diminisher. So it's input A minus input B. So if we turn on to the diminisher setting, we'll have input A and set that to um, three. It's not three, but this is just how I keep count. And then, so, it'll be this minus something that's weaker, so four. And as you can tell, this is lit up. That's lit up because it's um, one number difference, so it's four minus three. So you'll have one. That's how that works. That's the diminisher and capacitor setting. Now you know that. 
Now, um, if you attach this, the capacitor, to a chest, it, does, it doesn't have to be a trap chest. Actually, it's better if it's not a trap chest, because that makes it work with only one player around. Double chest, ender chest do not work. And actually, no, let me show you the limit. This is with one row filled. So one row filled. It gets to about one, two, three, four, five. It goes five blocks out. That's with one row of chests filled out. Same thing with this one. And here's the thing. You see how it's on the top side? If I were to put a chest over here, it's on the bottom half. So screw it up then. Screw it up. Okay. Let's put it over here. Um, the top chest corresponds to this side. That's why this is lit up and this isn't, because there's nothing on the lower half right here. So if I were to put it into lower half... Just pretend if it... Well, it is two chests. But, yeah, see how when I put it in, this lit up? That means now it's being powered. If I were to take this out. Now here's proof of concept. Destroy it. There's nothing that falls out. Ender chests don't work because it's like a cloud system. If you have an Apple device, then you would know what I'm saying. It's like, it's not really here. It, these items do not actually exist in your world. They're just, they're just like kept on your player, kind of like how armor is. So this doesn't work because it's not public, so the server can't read it. It's kind of weird how it is. So, like, let's say if this was a regular chest, these are considered public chests. This is a private chest. Since it's a private chest, it can't be rendered out exactly into the server, like how the world would work. It's really weird. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that this does not actually exist, therefore, this cannot have a power. Same thing with dispensers. Fill in the row, and it'll go exactly out how one row would work. So, five blocks out. Now, if you're actually trying to do something like an adventure map, I'd recommend you go with the brewing stand. You know, texture different things different ways. Because with three bottles, you'll get all the way out to here. That's just with three bottles. Now this, if you have half the hopper, it also works with hoppers, by the way, as you can tell. If you have the hopper, if half of it is filled, 64, 64, and 32, you know, because I could double that and it would be full. Um, it will go out to about 7. 7 is not exactly half of 15, but Minecraft rounds down and goes down to uh, 7. So 7 blocks out. Now, here you can actually add these with dispensers. Here's an automatic uh, dispenser type of... D an arrow shooter that fires as long as the chest up here is full. At least, as long as it has two stacks, it'll keep firing. And this is actually firing at five items per second, so it's five arrows per second, which is 300 arrows per minute. Um, by the way, the hopper keeps reloading. The hopper reloads the dispenser. Uh, it fires at 5 arrows per second, which I guess can only be because of the half tick. Uh, that's basically what I'm going to say it is. Same thing here. This is a no sputter dispenser, also with the same idea. And the difference between a sputter and no sputter is this. Um, if I take out all the arrows, put I should probably take this off. This is going to be a little bit weird. If I destroy this, get some lever. Wait. It's gonna be a long video. Whatever, close enough. Um take all the things in here. No, don't fill. Bad. And let's put in like a stack here and a stack here. Now if we keep firing, this actually run out in about thirty seconds. So I'm gonna cut the video off here. No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it here. As you can tell, it's lo it's going down and loading back up. The hopper can't keep up. So I should probably cut this down to like that's about good. Take out 
take out all the arrows here. You'll hear that it'll, that it'll start sputtering, like it'll start and stop. That's basically, yeah, that's because that it can, the hopper cannot fill up as fast as the dispenser can. And that's mainly because of this comparator, because it's moving too fast for the uh, dispenser to, for the hopper to keep up. Let me turn this on. So here's the anti-sputter thing. You're going to need at least two chests. Two chests would work. This thing can basically fire forever, to be honest. And it won't, it doesn't need a cooldown time, because um, it's loading up extremely quickly. Look. Uh, same thing here. Right, right behind me. Yeah, same thing here, except with two dispensers. So basically, in summary, comparator plus dispenser plus arrows plus a power source, such as a lever or a redstone torch, has to be a solid power source. Buttons would work, but it'll only work for a short amount of time. It'll fire it off at five arrows per second, or five items per second, which is 300 items per minute. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe if you liked the video, if I helped you a lot, or at all, to be honest. Um, I'll see you all next time, and I'm probably going to be doing a review of the redstone block, like the straight-on redstone block right, oh, failed, right over here. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.